what I have here today, September 17, 2012. This is a water damaged Gruen. I guess it's Precision Auto Wine wristwatch that I bought for parts because I uh, I refuse to take a working watch and uh, cannibalize it for parts. I'd rather take a one that's been broken. Just uh, just what uh, just that's how I feel about it. I don't like ruining watches that work. Anyway. Uh, yeah, this is rust staining in there. Uh, let me just point out one thing. Uh, this working surface is a piece of uh, foam. It's not hard. It's foam you use when you ship something in a box. So, that's what I'm working on. Nothing hard, so. I don't want anybody to bitch and moan about that. Anyway, back to our main feature. So I'm going to take this apart because there's a part in here I think I can use on another watch. So I originally wasn't going to make a video but I figured maybe someone wants to watch this stuff. So I've already uh, cleaned some of the crap off the inside so it's not going to look as bad as the outside. But this is uh, the way it is. Uh, this crown was, uh, well, I'll, we'll show, I'll show you. Not Will, it's just me. So. Uh, there it is. It's a screw back. I can tell by the, uh, you know, these cutouts on the back. I got my case uh, opener. I'm going to sit down now. Pre-adjusted to fit the notches cut out. So, there it is. I already loosened it anyway, so I don't have to futz around like I normally do. So, uh, I shall now open up the back. I got those rust in here that I cleaned out. So, you know, because I started doing this and I figured, okay, like I said, I might as well make a video. Uh, yeah, this uh, counterweight thing was all covered in rust, but since it's like nickel plated, nickel plated brass or something, it just comes right off or maybe it's chrome plated I don't know what the hell they use and then all this over here was all rusty too and I cleaned that off because it's nickel plated brass you can see that that screw is rusted and this screw is rusted For some reason this screw didn't get rusted and let me take out this uh, spacer clamp thing and yeah there's some rust there I cleaned a lot of rust off of this already I don't know why because I'm not going to use this watch should have left the rest there so you people could see. But anyway, uh, the big problem is uh, in here with the stem. It is extremely rusty. Ah, so rusty that uh, it doesn't turn. And uh, the screw here to loosen the stem, that doesn't turn either. So you ask, how do I get the, the movement out of the case? Well, I had a pair of pliers and I turned this thing and I basically unscrewed the uh, the crown from the uh, stem because it was so rested in position so there it is that's how I take that off I didn't take out any containers oh wait there's some up here damn I'm always forgetting stuff I use these two containers then. any <coughs> excuse me Anyway, so I got the, that's how I'm going to get the uh, the movement out of the case because the uh, I got the crown out and the stem is short enough. Plop, just comes right out. Yeah, there's the inside. It's all stained with rust. Uh, and plus the stem is shot because uh, that threaded part there for the crown is just not much in the way of threads. Yeah, well you can see the dial too is uh, stained. I got some of the staining off too. I don't know why. I, I, it's just a habit. I didn't even get the freaking movement holder. Damn. Yeah. I don't need to worry about it because I don't think I'm going to be putting this watch together. Uh, so, what am I going to do now? I'm going to take the uh, hands off. Damn. I was, well, I'm in such a rush to take this apart so I can use the... I think it's the third wheel I want. I... Uh, Forgot to get all my equipment out. 
Uh, oh, excuse me. Oh, let's see. I I even had the hands off, and now I put them back on. Just so let me get these off. I didn't put them back in a good position. What are you seeing? Okay. Let's see if I can get in here and yes, they all came off at once. We stuff them away. Let me take this off. Uh, I'm gonna get this out of my way. I'm putting the hand pullers away to get them out of my way. Thank you very much. Oh, come on, get in the container. Okay, hand pullers. I can't, gotta close the cover too. Hand pullers out of the way. So there is your movement. I'm gonna flip it like this because I'm working on foam. Uh, what am I gonna do next? Well, like I said, I couldn't get the stem out. The stem doesn't turn. Like this screw doesn't want to turn. Well, you see, I can take the dial off so you can see the. Uh, you know, the wa case says waterproof, and there's still a gasket on it, but uh, there's two two screws. This screw got pretty rusty to hold the uh, dial on, but I managed to uh, unscrew it. And this screw looks good. And that should be enough, I hope. Or do I have to do it more? Okay, so you can see inside the dial all the rust here. Staining. Rust staining here. This watch took a good hit with the water damage. So, uh put that aside and we'll turn it over and see the uh, I lost the the springy thin metal thing that goes here when I took it apart before and that upset me I don't know where it fell on the floor everything falls on the floor uh, can I zoom in on this anymore that's it well, that's pretty much it okay uh, well, you can see uh, staining of the rust all around. I got some of it off, but, uh, yeah, it's raining. This is where, it, uh, I guess, most of the water sat, or maybe this is where most of the steel is. Where the uh, winding and setting stuff is. It's all rusty. Everything is rusty in there. That's why this stem is... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to waste my time getting this stuff out and cleaning it off or just say screw it. I don't know. But uh, that's where the water must have been sitting. Because it didn't know. Because the balance on this thing is, uh, whoops, still good. But uh, nothing else moves but the balance and the rotor here. The rotor turns. And so do the gears do. But uh, nothing else seems to be working. Ah, so let me. I'm going to take this off before I lose it. Or will it come off? Oh, it does come off. Uh, I'm also take the uh, canyon pinning off. Oh, I got to get the real pliers. Oh, I'm going to get the real tools now. I, I should have got all this stuff first. So hold on for. You know, every time I put the microphone down, it slides off the table. I'm going to get the, uh... Can you pin in? Can you pin in? Wait, I could use the other movement holder. I don't need the big one. Where's the small one? Yeah, I use the small one because it's for wristwatches. And that's what we got going on here. Whoops. You can tell I'm back. Uh, where am I? Okay, so I'm gonna pull off. So this is tool for this, but you know, one of these days I'm gonna buy one, but I don't know when. So this is how I uh, remove the cannon pinion. It's there. Yeah, knock it off with my finger. Oh, come on, it's magnetic. Either that or oily. 
It must be oily. Okay. What else am I going to take off? Uh, I'm about to take off some more junk. Yeah, okay. Uh, where's the movement holder? I don't know if I should put it in the movement holder. Nah, I gotta wait. Well, let me work on the other side now. Uh, so I can take the, uh... Ta-da! This is... So, you know, I accidentally I bought this moving holder on accident because I thought it was big enough for pocket watches, but, uh... Does that focus good? Let me just take it back a little bit. But it, uh... Didn't think I'd be doing wristwatches, but this thing really works good. It holds them really nice. Uh, I want to take off... I guess I have to take off the rotor. Yeah, on this one, on the Gruens. Uh, this screwdriver... Looks like it's good enough. So I'm going to take this ro... Well, they say... Yeah, I can't get the balance off. Because this gear is in the way. Or is it? Let me see. Yeah, I really can't take this off until I get the auto wind crap off. So I'm going to take off... Should I take off the rotor? I'll take off the rotor because maybe people want to see that. Because you can really take off the whole unit. Well, and just the cover of the unit. Let me see if I can get this. Uh, see, these screws are blued, so it's hard to see where the uh, where the groove is for the screwdriver. Oh, let's see. Hopefully, these won't give me grief. You know, I can't see where the screwdriver goes. There you go. Let me see if I can get it out. Hey, let's see where the other screwdriver head is. Oh, that one's tight. Damn. So if any screws don't come out, I would not be surprised because of the the water damage. There's two. And the third one. Because there's always one screw that screws you over. Always. That's just the way it is. Just one screw that's going to give you grief. It's like when you're working on a car. What the heck happened to that screw? Oh, this one rusted out and the head just crumbled. Well, that's the one screw. It just broke apart. You know? Wow. Seeing if I can rotate it, because there's a portion of the head still left there. <laughs> Screw it. So, went water damaged. So this is the, uh... Ooh, look at that. Look at the rusting under that. That's upsetting. And I... Yeah, that really... That's what you didn't see that. Well, I should have expected it because the other side was just the same. And here's that broken screw. Well, I might as well put that in the container. So, where's the gear for that? Oh, okay, there's the gear. I don't know if you can see the gear. There's the gear there. Okay. Uh, so there you see, 17 jewels. What the heck does that say? Unadjusted Swiss. Okay, so uh, what's next? I might as well take the auto wind stuff off. 
the other wine car. Looks like if I take off this plate, I can access all these some of these gears. Uh, let's see. Here's one screw. Ugh, let me get a bigger screwdriver. Hopefully none of these screws will screw me over. Oh, man, that one's tight. Oh. Not cooperating. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, just gotta get the right screwdriver. I gotta sharpen some of these. Put it back. Let's see, did I do it enough? Yeah. Uh, I'll put it in this container still. Which one did I use this screw? Am I still in this? Okay, then there's a second screw over here. Now that's not the screwdriver I used. This was the one. That one didn't give me as much grief. And the third one, which is rusty, which I loosened before. And then I decided that I should do a video, so I put it back in. Even though this one was rusty, it didn't give me as much grief as this one over here. I guess just the head got rusty. Ah, okay, what's next? Let's see if I can... Uh, theoretically, this should come off. Hmm. Did I miss a screw? Well, there's a screw here, but I think that's for a separate plate. It's sticking. Oh, that's why it's stuck. You can see all the rust. Look at that. This looks like a clicky thing. A click thing. The spring, too, all rusty. And this is the... And so you see all the rust there too. It's stuck. It's staining because this piece is probably some copper alloy or nickel or something. So, but obviously this thing was steel and the spring is steel. Huh. Little tiny gears. Uh, okay, now I'm going to take the balance out. Well, I'm also take all this stuff out too. I don't know if I'm going to put this watch back together. I should. Let's see if these come out. I wonder if these go a certain way. No, it's just a gear. This is a omnidirectional winding, I guess, on the auto wind unit, meaning no matter which way the rotor turns. Oh, that's... That's rusted... Uh, into position. Well, that ain't coming out. Well, I'll have to examine that closer. Oh, look. Looks like a capsule over there. Wow. Anyway, yeah, this spring is, uh... Well, it's still got spring in it, but the thing it hits is rusted... rusted solid. Oh, well. I can get the jewel over there. Well, that's not good. I think I want the third wheel. I think I want this wheel over here. And that wheel doesn't look good. Maybe I wasted my money. Uh, what else am I going to take off? I'm going to leave this on. How much time do I have? Uh, I hope I can get this. Next, I'm going to take off this other plate. I could take off the balance now. Might as well do that. Uh, screwdriver. <sighs> Should have got more container while I was getting this. And this thing looks like it's pretty, uh, 
pretty loose. You know? Oops. Let's see if I can get this balance. See, this is still good. This is pretty, this is clean. But it's just this side of the watch that uh, got effed up. Oh, what the heck is this? Oh, that's part of that broken head. Where did it go? It shot out from the tweezer. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see if I can get this uh, top plate off. I assume it's this screw. And this screw. Yeah, so far. Am I getting this? And it's focusing on my thumb. And this screw. And this screw. I took one of these apart once a long time ago, so I don't remember. And that was before I was doing videos. Uh, let's see, we'll take off the, uh, see if we can pull out the screws. Oh, they're all cooperating. Except for this one, probably. Yeah. Oh, good. Uh, let's see if this, I guess, main plate comes off. I think I got all the screws out. Oh wait, there's pry points. I see a pry point now. Yeah, it helps if you use the pry points, but there's only one. Oh wait, there's another one over here. And, oh, this is... No, I'm not going to flip this over. Well, I might. Let me, uh... Pull that off. Let's see if I flip it over. Whoop! Center wheel came out. So, there you can see some rust there on the winding stuff. And then, what is that on the other side now? So, I think that's the wheel I want. I don't know, I'll have to take apart the other watch. Put that aside, and there's the, uh, center wheel which looks you know squeaky clean let's see what this wheel how come this wheel didn't come out this wheel didn't come out because it probably got a little rusty so that's a shame let me put that down uh, what else huh. Well, you can see all the rust here, staining. This stuff doesn't even want to... Oh, wait. Moves a little bit, so let's hope. The question is, there's the stem. Uh, I forget what they call This might be the clutch thing. I don't know. This little thing here moves, but this here doesn't seem to move, so it may be rusted onto the stem, which is not good, because, I don't know, you have to take it apart another watch to get the part. Because when you pull out the stem, it leaves these two pieces behind. And this is that screw that I couldn't get out to get the stem out. Oh, let's rust it in. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna, oh, wait. I'm going to take out the mainspring barrel. You know, I never let down the mainspring. And nothing happened. Maybe because it wasn't winding. Because it was so rusty. This, got, this look doesn't look too bad. It's got some staining, but that's not bad. Let's see what else we got going on. Oh, this thing was for the, uh, this wasn't the center wheel. This is for the second hand. Uh, so let me take off this plate. Yeah, see, I took part one of his auto wand unit once because it wasn't working. And a screw came off and it got all the way underneath there and jammed in there. You know? It's like these screws, they'll go. In fact, I, I don't know if I could use this for... No, I don't need parts for that other one. Uh, 
And what am I looking at this thing? Yeah, that stinks. The screwdriver just fell on the floor. Damn it. Yeah. Screwdriver, I need it. Well, I'm taking off this other screw. I guess I'm doing this video so I know how to put this back together. And there's the other screw. And we have this plate. Is there a pry point? Mm, I don't know. I guess I'll lift it up over here. Or will it stick because of the staining of the rust? Man, that doesn't want to come off. Damn it. I knocked something over. Let's try... Let's see. Let's see what more surprises. It's... That looks good. Hm. And let's see what we got going on here. We got the uh, escape wheel. It's got some rust on the top pinion. And we got the center wheel. Oh wait, we can't take the center wheel out yet. We got to take out the uh, pallet fork. And let's the oh, there's how do I pry this up? Oh good. And we'll take it off. And the pallet fork comes with it. This doesn't look oh, I see a little staining, but it doesn't look bad. Ah, oh, what is that? Oh, a little gear. I know where that came from. It came from the other side of this top plate. I knew that was going to happen. That's for the auto wind, this little gear. And now we take out this center wheel, which doesn't look bad either. And uh, there we go. A little piece of rust. So, uh, like I said, I bought this for parts. Hopefully, I, I, I think I took a good guess that this is the movement I would need. How am I going to get this stuff out? I don't know. Oh, wait, now I can go back on this side. I don't know. I'm going to take off this. Whoops, that didn't turn. That come off. And I'm almost done with this. And that comes off. And that stain too with rust. And these wheels, these gears are, uh, well, that doesn't even want to come off. <laughs> That's probably rusted on, or it's, well, the rust like a glue or something. Yeah. That's the, uh, minute wheel, I guess. And then this is for winding and setting, and that's all rusted, because it's steel. Does that even want to come off? Oh, it rotates. Come on. Come off. I'm afraid to push on it real hard because then it'll fly through the air. That's all rusty. And let's see what else I can get off. I'm going to take off this, uh... See, normally I don't like to take out the winding and setting stuff. Sometimes I do, but in this case, I have, I have to. Oh, man! 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna tilt it like this so I can get some good leverage. Oh! Wow, oh, I don't know if you heard that snap. It didn't snap off, it just... It snapped because it broke free. Now, uh, let's see if this will come off. Yeah, that came off. And that's all rusty. And what else can I... There's a spring. I know some springs in there. Uh, I know this might come out. Yeah, okay. That looks like I can get that out. Oh, that disappeared. That disappeared. Did not expect that. That part is probably gone. I don't think I'm going to find that part. Man, that took off like a rocket. Damn it, that's why I, I, I hate springs. Crap. I didn't even hear it hit the floor. Damn it. Well, I got a magnet, so I'm gonna scan the area with the magnet. That stinks. See, that's why I gotta remember. I always gotta put my finger above that stuff with springs. Shh, crap. So this thing, I don't know if this is the clutch or I don't know what it is, but this thing here don't want to move. So I'm gonna see if I can get this stem out. Damn it! I lost a piece. I was doing so good for so long, and now it's gone. Crap. Should have expected it with the spring. Let me see if I can take this. This is the... Okay, wait, I might have to, uh... Oh, wait, this is actually turning. Excellent. Let's see what I did. Does it come out? No, but it turned. Yeah, okay, the other piece came off then. Okay. But will I be able to get this? I shouldn't use my tweezers like that. Don't use your tweezers like that. See, this is all rusted together. Yeah, this piece moves. But this one is rusted and so I'm gonna soak this in WD forty or something like that or maybe heat it up and uh, see if I can break it free. So that's about it with this watch. I took it apart. I don't know if I'm gonna ever put it back together. Since I lost a piece, I'm gonna use it for parts. Well I'll put some of it back together because otherwise you get a bunch of parts you don't know what the hell they're for. So uh I'm gonna do a group shot and uh call it a day you will I will do uh, when I assemble that one wheel hopefully it'll fit to that other watch that's what I'll show so here's uh, I should put these pieces in here so I don't lose them well we'll put this big piece there because I don't want to damage anything so, uh, let's see, there's your crusty dial, and other junk. Where's the case? Oh, there's the case. i put the case over there, too. So, uh, there it is, my Gruen Auto Wine Precision Water Damage wristwatch that wasn't running. I have to look for the piece now. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the show. Enjoy the rest of your day, and, uh, there's something else I would say, but I can't remember what it is. I don't, I don't remember. Uh, I'm gonna let this run out to uh, 35 minutes even. So now I'm gonna spend like 10-15 minutes looking for a part I probably never find. But I'm, I'm not sweating it because I probably wouldn't get this watch back together anyway. So whoops, it's gonna end soon. Thank you very much. Then that's what I usually say.